Nick Wallander has been practicing for his biggest feat yet, and his training is anything but routine. His team has been aiming to recreate the conditions he is likely to face on his daring tightrope walk. I've always trained for wind, was with airboats. They're all over the place when you're in Sarasota. I've got some great friends that have them, and it, uh, it's the easiest way to create high, heavy, gusty winds. Wallander's latest challenge lies in the heart of northern Arizona at the Grand Canyon, an unforgiving landscape on foot, more so while walking a wire high up and open to the unpredictable winds. Last year, Nick walked across one of the massive waterfalls at Niagara Falls with a tether, but coming from a long line of tightrope walkers who didn't, he will complete his next aerial challenge untethered. Always at the back of his mind, his great-grandfather, Carl. Probably my biggest inspiration. Um, so everything is done to honour him, so I'll think of him as well during that walk. This is going to be the highest tightrope attempt ever for the 34-year-old, taller than the Empire State Building, facing a 1,500-foot drop if he puts one foot wrong.